Hi everyone, <coughs> excuse me, welcome back to Crochet Box. Tracy here and as you know, uh, if you've seen it up already, I did a little impromptu visit to Hobbycraft. Hey, Hobbycraft. So, yeah, it wasn't planned, it was just we were out and about in that area and decided to have a little look because I've been trying recently to while I'm out and about find some yarns to come back and show you like I used to but there are so many yarn shops that have closed down like bricks and mortar shops and uh, there are places obviously like Poundland and B&M and all those but the yarn is the same over and over again very little different uh, yarn comes through the door so it is a little bit um monotonous should i say and once you've seen it you've seen it occasionally it's good because you think oh this time i went and i found this yarn but it's not yarn that's new it's yarn you've seen before so um i wanted to go in there to Hobbycraft because they are my main um real competition in terms of the yarn that they sell in terms of bricks and mortar shops um however I also want to see how they were doing because things have changed in the last few videos I've done. I've been mentioning how much less yarn they have. So I wanted to go in there for a few reasons. A, to play with some squishies and show you some squishies and B, to see how my opposition is doing and, you know, what they're, what they're currently selling and prices and all that. So, um... Sometimes they send out to people like little vouchers and this, that and the other, but they haven't done that in a long time. And it makes me think that they're, they're feeling the pinch in the profits, like they, uh, they put their prices up considerably. And now, while I was shopping, I don't know if you noticed on that video, I did mention that there's a lot less variety than there used to be. I used to go in and there would be Karen yarns, there would be Bernat yarn, there would be um, the Lion Brown Mandalas, and then you would get lots of Hayfield, lots of Serdar, lots of other brands. And now there's a little tiny bit of James C. Brett, there's a little tiny bit, tiny bit of Serdar, and a tiny bit of Hayfield, and a little bit of Wendy. So after I finished my video, filming it, you know, I found um, a lady and I asked her a question because there was something I was asking her for. And then I said, have you changed lately? I said, I seem to be an awful lot less yarn. It's falling off. An awful lot less yarn than there used to be. And um, less aisles. And it seems like the brands that you do sell, you don't carry as much of their range. And she said, no, we have trimmed it down rather a lot. Um, they are going over, they're moving away from Hayfield and Serdar, so they won't be selling stuff like Hayfield Spirit for long um, and the Serdar Snuggly and all of those yarns because they are now going over to Wendy, um, which is a cheaper brand for them to buy. So I guess that is the main focus, that they're heavily kind of now... Um, weighted upon yarns that they sell their own and Women's Institute yarn which are affiliated to them and exclusive to them so you can't buy them anywhere else but the rest of their yarns are few and they're going for more the cheaper yarns so that they can make more profit perhaps I don't know anyway this is my little selection and um, as many of you know I have a shop of my own hobbyrocks.co.uk and the last thing I really need is more yarn but you know we are yarn addicts at the end of the day and um, you know it is uh, a thing it's a genuine thing so I have to go and sort of you know when I've got projects in mind I can't just go raid my shop can I really so um, but one thing it did kind of make me feel good was the fact that when I've compared compared apples for apples you know my prices are way cheaper than theirs on things like hayfield spirit theirs was five pound fifty and mine's four seventy something so that's a really expensive brand when you're kind of buying yarn 
it's not like a mega i mean you can get yarn that's cost 20 pound for a 50 gram ball if you really want it but not many of us do okay so let me show you what i've got but before i do if you are interested in looking at what i've got there's a link to my shop in the description box below and a voucher code that is valid on every order you place from now to the end of december there will be another batch code to replace that once it's done because i always do one at least and um but there you go so anyway ship worldwide that's me out of the way let's see what we got so because i have quite a few hang on i'll put the fan on christmas projects on the go not that i feel like it will reach me with the amount of yarn i've got in my <laughs> but never mind um that didn't come on maybe i didn't put the right there we go I don't know what's going on. Oh, it, it's just a delay. There we go. A little bit will reach me. That's uh, that's cool. So um, I had a lot of Christmas projects that were half made from last year, and I thought, oh, I'll finish them next year, maybe. So um, I wanted to kind of make sure I've got enough yarn. So I know I was making it with this, and this is the Women's Institute um, DK, and it's quite thick for DK. It's not a thin strand. Some I've worked with some Aran yarns that are thinner than that, I can tell you, or about the same. So I did get four of these reds um, because it's a Santa colour. So I did get those. Let's pop them in there in the bag and I will tell you about this one. I think this works out at £2.80, but you get three for twos. So that's kind of worth it. It's a really nice yarn. It's premium acrylic, DK don't know what that says oh exclusive to hobbycraft squiggly writing or shall we say cursive okay and it is 250 meters so it's it's good basic yarn and i bought that and i bought green now the reason i got this green because it's it very dark it's like a bottle green and um that will be good for things like uh you remember the creeper blanket i made i wanted a really dark edging would have been perfect if i had it at the time or could find it at the time um yeah never mind didn't but it, it's got a nice edging set it off framed it nicely but i would have used that color um had i the uh, you know the option so there is something else i want to make so that's why i got the bottle green so that was predominantly most of my yarn order, although I did get some more. Now I decided to get this. Um, there's two of them, I believe I bought two. Maybe I did not. Oh, actually, there is this. I did get this colour as well. Um, same Women's Institute DK. Um, while I was shopping, it's quite darker than you're looking at. That's the colour. While I was looking around, I did say, oh, these would have been perfect colours, maybe one of them, for my creeper blanket. Because this is this is greener than it looks. So um, I did get a couple because there is a few things that I want to do with it. So I got this one and this is, what colour are we? Same as all that because this was the fourth one of the greens. You know, I've got three, four reds and three of those greens and this one. Uh, so everything's the same except this is sage green and the other one I think was bottle green. I think it was called bottle green. I didn't tell you, did I? Honestly, whoever said I was a professional? Yep. Oh, it's actually called school green. <laughs> Not the school green we had, I'll tell you. Ours was a bright green. So this one, this is a Wendy, Wendy Supreme. And the one that I used for the the kind of contrast colour on the creeper blanket was a Wendy Supreme, but it wasn't this one. I did toy with the idea, but this is actually, although it's not showing as green, it is, it's more of a kind of dark teal though. But I did get it anyway, just to, um, just to get it really. And, you know, I was looking at it, so I figured, well, just get that one. It's called Eucalyptus and it is mildly machine washable, a cool iron, a cool tumble dryer, and you may dry clean it. It is by Wendy. It's a DK, and it's not the kind of basic, it's the supreme. So, um, we've got yardage anywhere. 
322 yards, 295 meters. I don't like that light shining on my face, but I just, never mind. Here we go. This is really squishy soft. And I'd heard some, some of my subscribers have said they didn't get on with this yarn. They found it splits and it wasn't nice to work with. But I have to say, when I used it for the creeper blanket, I didn't notice that. And I wondered if the ones that they'd used were the actual Wendy Supreme or just the old Wendy that used to be around. But this one, I found it okay to work with. But then maybe we had different hooks. I don't know. Sometimes that really does make a difference. And by the looks of this, I did get an, an odd stray one. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I thought I had like for like, but obviously... I don't know, maybe that is, it's three for two, isn't it? So this is right. Well, I've got a white one. Obviously, when you're doing Christmassy things, you often need a white, so that's all it is. It's just called white. So then I didn't, I thought I'd get a few other like little bits and bobs just to show you. And this one is called Make the Change. Um, it's by Hobbycraft because the knit craft symbol is their yarn. And it's called Make the Change. It's a hundred gram ball and it is, <laughs> you know you say like recycled yarn well this one says this yarn is made from recycling bottles bottles normally when they say it's recycled yarn you know something like um t-shirt yarn it's the end of the roll of cotton fabric but this is actually made from bottles now i can't say it is the softest yarn that I've ever felt. I would say it is on a par with the yarn that I was looking at the other day that had some wool content. That's how it feels. You know, it's kind of got that fibrous feel that you, that wool has. You know, it is not scratchy. It is soft. Because um, it's, you know, you can get yarn of wool that is quite scratchy. And then you can get some that's not. And um, this one, I'd say it's not scratchy, but it's not the softest, I have to say. And 260 metres, um, you can machine wash it mildly, but you have to dry it flat. And this is called denim. So it's pretty decent colour and it's made out of bottles. But let me tell you, let's see if I can find that. I can't remember how much it was. So we'll have a little look. Um, that eucalyptus yarn, the Wendy, was £2.50. Um, they're £2.80, the individual um, Women's Institute yarns, but you do get three for two. Uh, what am I looking for? Change it up. Where are you? Let's change it up, for goodness sake. Um, that's a point. Where's that? I bought something. It's on my... I'll have to have a look for that in a minute. Um, that's weird. I can't find... Oh, there. Make a change. £3. And the next one is £2, which I thought that was a lot more than that. That's pretty cool. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I bought some Leader of the Pack. And this is the one where, in the shop, I looked at it and I thought, that reminds me of Grace a lot from uh, Stylecraft. Now it is alpaca. I don't know if it's 100%, let's have a look. Now I have got this yarn, I've got the black one, the black and gray fleck. And I did have, <laughs> I was making a scarf on the knitting machine, the Addy, um, for Gary and it's still about this long. It's been that long for a couple of years since I got the thing. So this is 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca. So yeah, it is alpaca, but just 10% so. Okay, it's an Aran weight yarn, so a four weight, worsted, I believe. They like to call it over across the ponds, and it's 170 meters. Hand wash, do not bleach, do not iron, and do not dry clean. This one is called gray. I wouldn't call it gray, it's beautiful. Gray. It's so pretty i like that one so i did buy that and then i bought the sirdar snuggly 
So they were £2 each. This one was, so were £4 for two. This one is £4. This is why I believe they're moving away from Serdar and Hayfield and going over to Wendy so that it is much, much, much cheaper. But I did fall in love with this little fluffy bit um, while I was walking around. And I thought, I always use this kind of stuff for edging if I'm making something. Oh, I've got a grey one up there. Um, exactly the same. But it is beautiful. Let's um but in my shop I can stock this. <laughs> I'm in trouble with the neckline. But I don't. I stock um Peter Pan Precious Chunky. But it's a little cheaper. So this is hundred percent nylon. Um uh or polyamide, whatever you want to call it. And the shade is 0314. Oh, it doesn't really do it justice, does it? But uh, it's called Bunny 50 gram ball and that's 90 metres, 98 yards. So I do have some other bits to show you. I'm just going to pause it for a second because one of them, oh, isn't that gorgeous, has gone walkabout. So bear with me a sec. I found it. <laughs> oh, got fluff. I found it. <laughs> I thought, why wasn't it in the bottom of the bag? So I took the bag apart again and I couldn't find it. And then I thought, okay. Maybe they didn't put it in the bag because you give them the basket, they go behind the counter and then they pack it for you and they ring it up and pack it at the same time. So I thought, well, maybe they didn't put it in. But what it, what happened was they did, they put it on top and as it toppled over in the car, it came out. And so here it is. I bought this. Now, this is a backpack blank. I'm not keen on these type with the knot because they always end up in the wrong place. Um, but it's much, much simpler than making your own. So now I can crochet or do whatever I want um, and make a backpack with this blank, just that this will be the liner and this will be the bit that sticks out. Unfortunately, it's got those. Ones that I buy for my own personal use don't have this. I get the ones that are completely solid. I'm always quite um, discerning about my backpacks. But this was three pounds, I believe. That's how much I it was on the shelf. Do with the neckline. <clears throat> so that was one of my little extras that I bought. Where are we? Drawstring bag. Yes, three pounds. That was pretty cool. I liked that. And then these were the other, well, there was about another thing as well, but look, aren't they cute? Now, uh, those of you who've been ordering from me from Hobby Rocks will know that I've been making stitch markers that are little yarn balls, uh, sewing machines, um, love hearts with <laughs> knitting needles through them, balls of yarn with knitting needles through them, and scissors. I've been making all of those in silver as well as lots more besides. And um, I've run out, so I've got to make some more. But these are colorful versions of the ones that I make and I like them so much I bought them. And I believe that was four pounds. Let me see, uh, marker, yep, four pounds for those, which, you know, I don't know. That's not too bad, I don't think. You only get five. But this was the other thing I bought. And it is nothing to do with crochet. It is a little, um, a little chalkboard sign. And I can write on there, you know, if I wanted to be live at five, like Granny D or something does. But I could write anything on there and it'd be like a little sign. I thought that would be pretty cute. And I could do that and put it on my thumbnails and stuff like that. But I just thought that was pretty sweet. So there it is, my little blackboard stitch markers and my bag which I mean I've toyed with the idea of making backpacks loads and loads and loads of times it's just getting around to doing all these things but I thought I'd buy this because they sell these range of kind of blanks as I call them and they are just you can use them as liners and make other stuff and uh, I used to just buy their bags and think oh I'll line a bag with that because they used to be a pound they did used to be a pound but you know these ones have got a little bit of extra to them not the best kind of um cord or place for it they always they always ride those knots which is why i don't usually like them 
but there you go that's what i got that was my complete and utter haul from um hobbycraft i didn't use my specs once let's do it let's look intelligent for five minutes how much did i spend oh it didn't help <laughs> so i need the light oh hello i did see you uh £39.40, so I think it was under £40, but only just. It was £39.40, so that's how much I spent. And I did get quite a bit of yarn for that, because I did get, obviously, quite a bit of it was three for two. And I didn't buy two or three carrier bags, which I have done in the past. So I was quite... And the reason for that is they didn't have the yarn. Um, back in the day, I would go in and there would be stuff that I just simply could not resist. Um, that, that isn't there anymore. There is no, there is very little in the way of mandalas. You saw them on the shelf. They didn't have any lily. They used to have the lily sugar and cream. Maybe they have steel. If I go to Maidstone next, I might find more. But even Maidstone, um, the Ashford store, the Maidstone store and, uh, and the Rochester store all seem to have way less yarn and they are going over to different suppliers for the yarns too so um well you never know that just means that hobbybox.co.uk could be busier you never know anyway thanks for watching and uh let me know what you think in the uh description box what do you what do you think about the new kind of things going on at hobbycraft they have a lot of uh a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not just yarn. They don't just sell yarn. Obviously, there's all those pumpkins. They do cooking. I'll tell you what I did see while I was there. Something really cool. If you were the sort of person that wants to go into baseball hats, they had a cry cut or cricket. I don't know if you want to call it cricket. Um, press to go over the peak. And you can you can make little diamantes on there and press them on. It was so cool. But it was like, 300 pounds or two something and i thought well you know how many hats am i likely to ever do or make or want to put it on it'd be if you want to do it for a business it would be more worthwhile but obviously it wouldn't be it would just be something to play with for me so therefore i just walked on by but yeah there are loads in there loads of stuff but just not much yarn and the yarn that we are used to seeing it's not there anymore, which is a bit of a shame. So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.